Opening round for the men here at the Shiseido Tahiti Pro presented by Outer Known and world number one is in the lineup. Yellow leader jersey on Felipe Toledo, blue jersey on Liam O'Brien and another exciting Tahitian wild card in the way of Matahi Jole. I'm Kaipo along with Peter Mel and I like the look of this heat, Pete, because I'm looking forward to see what Matahi has in store for us. Riding back out, riding back, back in. We're going to start, however. We haven't talked about Liam O'Brien from Burley Heads because he's going to get the first barrel, and O'Brien sneaks that one. Liam, a nice start for the 24-year-old. So that's going to be the first the number on the board, and we're going to base all the scores off going forward in this season. And he was, and he got himself in position. You can see there he pumped. That was very smart of him to pump right before he pulls in, gets that extra burst of speed. Would have loved to have seen him complete that maneuver just because we're seeing that maneuvers are probably going to count more. But ultimately, barrel work is done. He is able to get a, a cleaner exit than we've seen a lot of these surfers get because the waves have been clamping down. So uh, uh, there's a lot of positive signs from this wave. Checking this out in slow motion with Liam O'Brien. You know, and this uh, camera angle is way up high and on the point, so it's really far away, but it looks directly into the barrel. So it's a beautiful angle to watch the technique as you can look straight into it. But he has learned his technique. Here's Toledo's opener, Peter. Well, up on the reef, up at the top end of it. Carries the speed well. Looked like it was going to have a barrel section. It just didn't happen for him. But he goes to maneuvers here and a beautiful start. Utilizing the rail here and uh, earned himself the 4.5 by maneuvers, really. Maximized it with just that exactly, that technique. He looked like he was going to find maybe a section that was going to barrel, but realizing it was going to shut down, goes around it and then goes to maneuvers. And he is so precise. That board just uh, is able to fit in the tightest of pockets, up and down. Look at that vertical approach for maneuver number two. And that was money. That was right on the button, right at the biggest part of the section. And then fades it to set up the second turn and goes straight into the second turn. And, you know, his maneuvers are the best in the world. I mean, he's one of those guys that can produce numbers by literally in a barrel section going to vert. Yeah, and a lot of times as we're coming out of this, Mihiman uh, Matahi Jole here. Another wild card, wants the same success. Just a couple turns there and just feeling things out. Catch a ride. We'll catch up with that as we're catching up live action. And that one, no opportunity for Liam O'Brien. O'Brien opening up with a 5.33 for his surfing in Tahiti. He got a semifinal finish in 2018. Here's Liam O'Brien. This is wave number three for Liam O'Brien. He went to turns as well. Yeah, and sometimes you gotta do it, right? I mean, we send the opportunity shows up got to get points you never know if it's going to just quiet down only two events bowing out before the quarterfinals you got to love that and even just one you know he makes the quarterfinals he has two fifths a couple thirds i mean that's consistency that's what you got to have in order to compete at this level that unfortunately goes down right there going to the maneuvers again a smaller wave so you kind of have to to do that battle through a bunch of injuries here we go though matahi so casual, in and out of the barrel. The second wave from Matahi Jorle, he only opened up with a one-point ride, so did it better to get in the barrel and out of the barrel. This is what locals do, right? <laughs> this is what locals do. Sm oh, and that one just peeled down the line, unfortunately. It would have been impressive if he got back-to-back -back scores. So true. Here we go. O'Brien, again, heat leader, finds another gem, finds a barrel, just needs to improve upon a 3.6. I think he did that. He did. Definitely, you know, the outside section, he was able to do that exact technique of knifing that drop into the barrel. Judges will take note of that. But he can do it on lefts. He sure can. You know, and see how he's underneath that one, and he's literally dropped in, didn't even go to the bottom, just pulled right up into that pocket. So, again, positioning was great for that wave. He's able to maximize as much of the barrel time as he can. Look at that. Underneath it, he saw it. He barely even paddled for it. And then he locks in with that pig dog style, the hand on the rail, we call it Marvin's, we have all sorts of different names, but um, that technique so good on the backhand to be able to maintain speed and stability in the barrel. I like it, I like the pig dog, but I like you calling off, calling out the Marvin. And if you're looking at certain t style of waves, the, the locals will be able to find it. Toledo in the barrel, comes out of the barrel, a little slide slip on the way out. And why not a big gaff on the backhand too for Felipe Toledo, looking to turn this heat with a 4.47 and take the lead. I think he's going to take the lead. Little magic there for Felipe. Good looking wave, with especially with the fact that it was so smooth. I mean, we saw that that wind will move around 
uh, in direction and definitely a bit more the easterly direction keeps it nice and smooth on the face. But look at these, he pousles towards the reef and then turns up the face. Gets himself behind the curtain there, disappears from view. Not going to be a massive number, but definitely his best number as he also finishes off with a nice solid move at the end, which is uh, always good to add a little extra element with the maneuver at the end. But look at the technique. He's got the skills. He really does. He's a great backhand two rider. He's kind of got, you know, he's just all around. I mean, that's how he's a world champ, right? And, and I think, Peter, that sometimes he's not given credit. Surfers on the move. Here comes the wave. Matahi with priority. Here he goes. The Tahitian drops in, stalls off the bottom, pulls into a cavern. And that cavern avalanche is shut. Felipe Toledo already has the lead, wants to add to it. This time going to turns. So solid on the sharp eye surfboard. Quick on the backhand. Looking to improve upon a 4.5 <laughs> kicking out over dry reef, Pete. Yeah, he rode that one, maximized every opportunity he could. There was a couple beautiful hooks there. Let's watch this again. Watch this, just up into it, straight up, and hooked it perfectly timed, spray everywhere. I mean, that was a massive turn. And then again, backs it up and gets more maneuvers done right here in the shallow. Wants to exit the least amount of resistance. Here we go, though. O'Brien streaking down the line and a missed opportunity there for the Australian. A little bit ahead of that wave the whole way. Yeah, that was unfortunate. It's going to be a, a very nominal number. Not even going to go into his top two. Matahi stalling on the takeoff. Gets the inside there. Travels a little bit. Okay, a little shampoo on the way out. Starting to build his comeback here under five minutes. Not the 7.6 that he needs right now, but it's going to start chipping away at his requirement. Matahi under priority. Here we go. Looking down the line. Looks disinterested on this one. Trying to maximize that priority number three. Just uh, maybe manifest something down on the shallow parts of the reef. Really tough to get a read on when sets are coming. Toledo. Just going to take this one to the channel. He's five seconds away from being the number one seed for the Rip Curl WSL Finals. And on to the round of 16 for Felipe Toledo. He's our number one seed for the Rip Curl WSL Finals. He's got to accomplish what he has done already. That's the positive note he needed to do in this round, and he's done it. There he goes. There's the numbers. Hey, coming up next, Gabriel Medina, Baron Mamiya, Seth Moniz. Stick around. More action from the Shiseido Tahiti Pro.